All right, a little late here, but I knew, you know, I saw it this morning, so I was doing some of their videos and finally got into Hot Toys Batman, Dawn of Justice version number two. Number two. There's a standard version and the deluxe version that comes with the diorama, which I think is pretty cool. So the differences with version two versus version one, the Hot Toys is kind of displaying it as you guys keep watching the video. It seems to be a little bit bigger, more bulkier, uh, taller than the original version. They do a comparison. Now, for North America, I can't comment on the rest of the world here. Sideshow Collectibles has noted that they will be getting this in stock and available for pre-order. So I'm just reporting it from the North American aspect, European, North American. Sideshow Collectibles has mentioned on their Facebook page that they will be getting this one for pre-order. Looks darn amazing. Like, it just is phenomenal. Like, honestly, they nailed Ben Affleck's head sculpt on this one. It looks awesome. Like what they're doing with it, where you can pose him in Bruce Wayne mode. That is fantastic. Right now, Ben Affleck's been trending a lot. We've seen, you know, the Nightmare version with Muff Toys, uh, President Toys. Again, different scales, obviously. Those are six inch, but Ben Affleck is trending. So, Warner Brothers, you might want to make a note right now to yourselves that the market, the fan base, really want to see Ben Affleck back as Batman. I think a lot of people can put that consensus out there. Hit that like button. If you agree with me, you'd like to see Ben Affleck back as Batman. I just don't think he's getting his fair share of a good screenplay. He's a great Bruce Wayne. He really is. When you watch Batman versus Superman, again, the movie had its issues, but he portrays Bruce Wayne probably one of the best versions I've seen in a long time. I, I, I would probably say he's maybe better than Christian Bale's. The more you watch it, it's like, you know, he really does execute a cool Bruce Wayne. It's like, he reminds me of Bruce Wayne from the animated Batman version. That, that's what he's captured, that essence of Batman and Bruce Wayne. But anyway, I can ramble on and on. We could do a podcast about Ben Affleck's Batman versus all the others. Maybe we'll do it one day. But this figure just, again, looks phenomenal, guys. There's really not much more to say to it than the subtle differences from the version one. You could see a little bit there um, with the bulkiness. The emblem looks a little bit different, just a tad bit. It looks like it's more colored. I would say not as faded look, a little bit more predominant. And there's the diorama as well, too. So once we find out from, you know, Sideshow Collectibles when they're going to open it up, we'll let everyone know. You guys can check also Toys Wonderland. They're probably one of the first ones if you really want to get it, uh, version two. So let us know, guys, what you think of this overall. Take care.